What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce, and we call this one the Raptors Delight. Let's go straight up to our topics. I'm the excited. first one. <laughs> Who won the trade? The Raptors or Miami? Raptors. Ooh, why so? I think so, because they... I'm not saying we didn't need Kyle, mm -hmm. but we needed something new. Mm -hmm. We needed something fresh. Yeah. We needed something more energetic um, and a totally different look. Yeah. So for me, I think the Raptors benefited a lot. I'm not a huge, like, I'm not saying I'm not a huge Miami fan because I love Kyle now, mm -hmm. but like, I wasn't, I'm not really looking at how Miami can use Kyle in the team. Like, I think this whole dynamic um, with, Butler and everything will be interesting, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I think the Raptors really took a steal in creating an opportunity to be new and to be different mm -hmm. this season yeah. by taking Kyle. As much as I love Kyle yeah. and I just love how, what he did for us and who he was with the team, I think this is very beneficial for us, yeah. to be honest. I, I think we got, we, we got at least a good player in the Precious Chua in terms yes. of what he'll bring, energy size and and um and youth and right. on the miami side i think they actually um the, i actually felt like they won the trip because of the fact that this is exactly what they needed uh mm. and what they lacked last year and why they didn't have the same success that they had a year before that which is able to make to the finals now they have somebody who has championship who has experience, experience and 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 the uh, the shooting ability and the playmaking ability uh, of lowry and i think he just has the toughness that they didn't have with Goran Dragic. And I think um, he, he uh, Lowry has that kind of, you know, tenacity in him and the, you know, the, the dog, junkyard dog yeah. in his game that I think will uh, will fit well with Jimmy Butler of, um, first uh, and foremost. And I think it's going to uh, allow him to be that playmaker that sometimes uh, they needed when Jimmy Butler is not there. And it's, he, he, I think he has just that kind of, um, special intangible things that you're going to need to win a championship. So I think Miami did kind of got the edge just because of the fact that that's exactly what they needed. Whereas for the Raptors, we, we want to just start fresh and new and have more opportunity for our younger guys to have um, the playing time. So for somebody like Malachi Flynn, uh, Fred Van Fleet to get an even bigger role, right? So having Kyle Otto there was the opportunity that they need to be able to have that um, not just the leadership role, but also the playing time and the the playmaking duty, right? So. Yeah, so do you think, like, let me ask you now, do you yeah. think that Miami, what? how do you think Miami will use Lowry on the court? I know, understand, like, there's that whole veteran experience yeah. and having the background knowledge of being in the championships, but on the court, how do you think it's going to look? How do you predict it's going to look I just like? feel they'll use him exactly how Lowry was when we won the championship right because i i literally see how uh jimmy butler plays that almost like not Kawhi, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. but close to what Kawhi was jimmy butler can can be that role mm. and and bam has that bam is one of the most versatile you know, star that you have in the game in terms of what he can do on the court his ability to score defend multiple positions his play to be ability. the center too he, he reminds me he's a better pascal siakam so i feel like lowry's just gonna have to play exactly what he did when we won the championship and even you know and and, and i think jimmy butler is gonna provide him that uh that extra i guess load off his shoulder where he just has to Set set a place when Jimmy Butler's off the court. When Jimmy Butler's on the court, he'll be that spot up shooter that he was great at because Kawhi was able to draw in defenders and allow Fred, Kyle, OG to get open looks. So Kyle's just gonna have areas where he's gonna it's be just a, spot a bigger up bigger playground, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, to exactly. be the way he needs to be. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, I totally can see that. Yeah, that's the great part about Kyle is that he has such a, uh, the veteran presence that and, and his IQ. Is yeah, above, right. It's it, he just knows what it's that he just needs to at. do. Yeah, he knows that he he just needs to do certain things to be effective in the court. Whether it's taking charges, whether it's hustling, whether it's playmaking, whether it's uh, knocking down the shot, whether it's uh, whether it's being the first one off the floor uh, right. on the ground, going for loose ball. That's what La great made Lowry so great and so intangible was that he was doing things above the stats, above above the analytics, right? Mm. So. And, yeah. and and speaking of somebody that I think we're gonna have a lot of fun watching, 
Scotty Barnes. What do you think the sentiment for the Raptor front says? Do we love him? Do we not like we him? We love him. Mm. We love him yeah. a lot. Not even just because he's so popular on social media and whatever, and he's just cool like that, but he has the potential of... A lot of people are saying he looks like another OG. Mm. He looks like another Giannis. Something yeah. that could be a big man that can play the positions that Raptors need. Mm -hmm. So he has that young, energetic, and really inspiring, mm -hmm. not going to lie, inspiring um, attitude to his game, to be honest. And I think that he has that work ethic mm -hmm. that the Raptors can use to boosting his career a lot mm -hmm. forward. The Raptors are really good, especially with their training programs, mm -hmm. to really bring the Raptors players out there. Mm -hmm. So I think with what he's got in his character and his determination and all of that energy even will the Raptors are going to are will be able to just boost him up even further mm -hmm. from where he can be. So I think mm -hmm. the people love him for sure, especially yeah. just and as I said, especially on social media, everyone loves him. Mm -hmm. He's he's just everyone loves what he does. Everyone laughs at what he does and is just super excited about how the Raptors are going to turn out because of him. I'm excited to watch him too. I mean, like if you've seen him in the preseason, he's long and he's, he's versatile. He's very long. Yeah. yeah. Tall and long and, and very mobile in terms of his ability to move on his feet yeah. and, and, and be a disruptor in the defensive side of the court. I'm excited for what he does. I am too. excited. I, I think we all can agree. Like we love, we love Scotty and we're excited to what, see what he does. See what he right? does. And, yeah. and, and in terms of what he does too, maybe this is a, a fun question to end off our, our Raptors Delight question is, Who's going to be the best dressed throughout the season? That's going to be... Uh... I think we all know the answer to that, though. <laughs> Do we not? Like, I, on, I, I think there's a competition, I think. Between who? I, I think Gary Trent has one of the nicest fits. Like, Gary Trent clean. is... Clean. He has clean, clean. But he has this look. Like, you know, I think he, you know, he has... Like the dread, the, the dreadlocks, but it has that. If you watch like a couple of his uh, uh, pre uh, pre game warm up entrances, it's quite nice. Like as much he as he poses I'm for the camera so yeah. much, though, he's always looking on the ground and he's always like, "Yeah, I know the cameras are looking at me, so you know I'm gonna get some Instagram bangers out of this yeah. stuff." You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's so his personality's so out there already yeah. that I think a lot of people would really say that Gary Trent would be the best dress, mm. but. I think, I don't know where you're getting at with who's going to be the competition, but I feel like there is going to be competition mm. other than OG and his scarves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so OG and Gary. like Yeah, <laughs> I think. I mean, like if OG pulls off some new next level, like scarves. trendy thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whether it's scarves or not, like just some new trendy thing. I think yeah. Gary Trent has competition. Yeah, and, for sure. And I, I see a little bit of like, depending on i think spum scotty barnes is like uh, personality <laughs> i think he'll play along with og like he'll yeah. play along i think they'll get along really well just because of their personality i think yeah he'll play that style game like where he'll you know i think he'll they're already up. playing it on yeah. like i feel like og and and scotty are already like you know bickering on the side and like talking you know i feel like I feel like they're already getting like this really close bond, yeah. like OG and uh, Gary Trent when they first started. When Gary Trent first started coming in, mm -hmm. you started seeing OG and Gary Trent kind of do their thing. I think OG's like this magnet for like new people, new people. you know, yeah. like he's that person <laughs> that everyone goes to because he's super chill and he's mm -hmm. super fun to be around. Um, so yeah, I think those three. Yeah, to be It'll honest, be yeah, It'll be fun to watch. It'll be them. fun to watch to see what they come up with. Yeah. To be like, honest, and for artists out there. Keep, let us know. We're going to keep posting. I mean, we're going to check up their drifts. So for you guys, let us know who's, you know, who's slacking off, who's dressing well every single pregame. Let us know on our social media. You can find us there at YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, right? But before we end off, we still have a third segment. In our third segment, we're going to go through some NBA Top Shot questions and interview where we uh, had one of my guys come in that I met through Twitter. Great collection that he has, Office Ninja. We're going to go through his story of how he discovered Top Shot as well as showcase us his favorite collection. So stay tuned.